your life. Hi everyone, thank you for joining. If this is your first time joining, this will be a live cooking session. And uh, I do this every alternate week, uh, just showing you some simple recipes. Um, well, I am going to set up uh, the screen here just to ensure that I get to see the comments. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see if there's anyone joining right now. Okay, let me see. Are there any comments there? Hello? Hello? Okay, now I need to set up this uh, view here on the MacBook. It's pretty slow. Oh, it doesn't show on this. That's funny. That's so funny. Just give me a quick moment. If not, I would not be able to read your comments and that would not be ideal. Uh, That's really funny. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. Some other account? Okay, let me just... Yeah, maybe it's that. Okay, let me just quickly see it. Why is it not there? Oh, yeah. Here I am. <laughs> so I'm just going to oh, mute yeah. this. Aha, uh -huh, now I can see Melbourne, Netherlands, Malaysia. E now I can see all of you guys. Hi! <laughs> so exciting. So, as the um, title of this video is already saying, I'll be cooking a vegan spice wrap. So, I have to always make a switch to the computer so that I can read your comments. So, I hope you don't mind that. Uh, hi, Devaraj. So let me see if there is a way to increase this view so that I can read all the comments. Is it possible to do that? No, I can't really do that. Well, I guess I need to live with this. Uh, that's not cool. Oh, I have someone from Canary Island. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to our live cooking. Now, the last live cooking I did on kimchi fried rice, if you haven't seen that, jump over, head over to uh, the YouTube channel, you can see the uh, whole video. Uh, I did not prepare anything, uh, but the whole message was to just show you how food can be cooked so quickly, fast, you know, simple, without even preparing. Today, I'm doing it differently. I have the ingredients here, but I did not uh, really prepare it. So, for example, my spring onions here is still um, not cut, you know. I still have tofu and all. Uh, maybe I'll just walk you through the ingredients very quickly. Uh, the core ingredient to this dish, because it is a vegan dish, I didn't want to use any meat. Uh, here we have tofu. So this is how it looks like, and it's firm tofu, okay? And we are going to first um, press the water out of the tofu. Hi Pika. So I'm going to read a few of comments here and there. So I have Christina from Sarawak, Cambodia. Uh, Google Glass version 2 equals to Google Spoon with chat. Hello. Oh, Japan. Cool. Um, Malaysian, Singapore. Awesome. So we have a great international audience. That's fantastic. Uh, can I have a bit of music at home? It feels a bit lonely. <laughs> it's either you sing for me. Oh, I'm actually talking to the cameraman behind. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press this down. Okay. Uh, very quickly. Just going to place a cup on it. Okay. So while the tofu uh, is just sitting down there doing its thing, we're just going to try to remove as much water as possible, okay? And over here, I'm just going to prepare the vegetables. So here I have carrots, uh, capsicum. The last time I did it, I used uh, some mushrooms. You can also do that. And then uh, scallions, my favorite. So you can add actually any sort of vegetables that you like. So anything that you like, just add it in. Uh, what do I usually eat for breakfast? <laughs> No, that's too much of a music. I'm not sure if you can hear it. <laughs> but uh, breakfast depends. Uh, I like to have kaya toast. Uh, earlier, we had brunch. Uh, we had some roti chanai and dal. Oh, by the way, let me show you some dal. Oops. Wait. 
Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. So if you want the recipe, it's on nyonyacooking.com. It was so good with roti. And you can always eat this with bread or baguette, you know. Um, missing tofu. Tofu is here. So we are setting it down on this plate with some with a bit of a kitchen towel. I'm just placing a bit of weight on it. Okay, so let's prepare the carrot. I'm just using one carrot. Now this meal is actually for just one person. I did it for myself during lunch. And uh, you can double the amount and have them prepared for many people. Or have it just as an extra dish or as an appetizer. So here it goes. Oh, wait. Bossa Nova Jess. Can you hear the music? Just tell me. My husband is such a lucky man. Are you a lucky man? He nods with a very sad face. <laughs> so what we're going to do with the carrot here is just to cut it into cubes. Nothing special. You can uh, ju julienne it as, uh, as you like, but I like everything slightly smaller in this recipe and uh, everything would be cubed according to the size that you would prefer, okay? Dal is Indian food. Yes, it is uh, Indian food, correct. But in Malaysia, we take a lot of dal as well because of roti chanai. And then sometimes we have it with rice. And dal is fantastic. It's so flavorful as well. So now just uh, cut this into cubes. And you can prepare this in advance actually with vegetables you can always prepare it in advance but i like to prepare it fresh so that you know the vegetables are all cut fresh and then you get the real taste of the vegetables uh roasted pork belly well at the moment i am a bit on a vegan face <laughs> well it's really uh i'm not sure if it's surprising to you but um if you look at all most of my recipes, I have a lot of meat and all, and I, I love eating uh, meat. But don't get me wrong, I mean, I've been eating meat since, since young, so I really enjoy it. But uh, of late, I've been watching a few documentaries, especially those on Netflix. And uh, I'm not sure if you've watched Okja, and also there's this documentary called uh, What the Food. What the food? No, I want to say what the food. What the food is a, a YouTube channel, which is quite funny. Uh, but it's called uh, What the Health. And it's all about um, you know the health and the world and how the industry is working right now and that's pretty scary so I try to cut down my meat uh, intake and I've been cutting down quite a bit and that's why this recipe came about but the other reason why I have this recipe is because uh, a friend of mine Corina she also runs a blog but it's in German and it's all about healthy eating so she asked me if I would do a recipe um, related to healthy eating and then picnic uh, recipes so it's like it's summer it's simple and I thought a lot of you would also like to uh, make this meal so it's a win-win situation hi modern statement uh, Jasper I noticed you <laughs> thanks for writing your comment yeah but yeah so that uh, the documentaries inspired me to make this recipe and I'm also making this recipe because uh, I combine it using my um, favorite spices. So my top three favorite spices. I'm going to tell you that later. Just let me just cut this just a bit more. And then we can move on to preparing the other vegetables. So Australia. Oh, kimchi. But we haven't been recording this past few uh, weeks because we record all of our videos at uh, once. But like I said, just request them on the website and then we will have them uh, listed. So if it's a request that has been uh, highly requested, then we'll work on a video for it. So here I have everything cubed into the bowl. And meanwhile, I have already placed this tofu for quite some time here. And the pan is already hot. So I'm going to jump into preparing the tofu now. All we need to do 
is with a bit of oil. So this is vegetable oil. Just pour it into the pan. Okay. And this tofu, you really do not need to do much. You do not need to cut it into pieces and all you need to do is just use your fingers. And yeah, just going to do something very bad. Maybe as a child you do it is to mash the tofu. Okay, and this is firm tofu, so don't use silken tofu or else it will be tough. So if you could have the camera directly onto the pan, just to see how it's like. Now it looks a bit weird at the beginning but trust me, it's going to turn out good. When I first did this, I made a uh, photo. People were asking me if this is fish, if this is chicken, but no, it's tofu. <laughs> Just press it down as you like. You want it to be slightly bigger pieces, you can do it. Um, you can also cut it into smaller pieces but because I wanted to give it like a meat kind of look so I just press it down yeah but uh, don't get me wrong uh, it's not that I'm going to stop making meat uh, recipes I will still do it and I still eat meat uh, when I do get the chance but it has to be really good meat you know uh, so the pork belly recipe would come up definitely one day uh, on Nyonya cooking because I love eating pork belly as well but of course finding the right pr um, product is always important so let's quickly look fingers 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 yeah use of fingers very important <laughs> and all you need to do now is just lightly stir fry this until it's slightly golden brown okay so i'm just going to increase the heat a bit and you really don't need to do much so let's just let it be for a while okay um Laksa recipe, great Julian. Try the laksa recipe and then uh, show a photo. Very important. I need photos. Uh, if you do not know yet, you can actually upload your photos directly on uh, nyonyakooking.com and that way everyone gets to see your uh, recreation. I get to see them as well. I get to share them with everyone else. So it's really fun. So I hope to see it there too. So when you cook this, you will also notice that the extra uh, water from the tofu will get uh, will be extracted. So what you really want at the end of uh, this whole um, cooking process is really dried tofu, like slightly dried tofu. So let's do this. Continue cooking. Nina. <laughs> So, no, my hubby doesn't want to come in front of the camera and we'll respect his decision. He, he did say in the last live video, he said that he'll come up in front if you reach 500,000 subscribers. So I guess that's still a long way until we get 500,000 subscribers. <laughs> now, here I have uh, a capsicum. I'm going to quarter it. This is just a uh, used capsicum from yesterday. It's going to remove whatever that we have. And then also, yep, cube this as well. So in my uh, the last time I did it when it was for lunch, I did not use any um, capsicum. I just used mushroom as I mentioned. So it's really up to you what you want to add. You can add shiitake mushroom, button mushroom. It's up to you. So let's cube this as well. Let's quickly look. Rosaline, hi. Um, oh, and then we have, the other, do I know how to make sushi? Yep, I do. We have made some sushi before, back then, like a sushi party. But making sushi is really an art. And uh, to make good sushi, you really need to pay attention on the rice, right? So uh, have good quality rice. Of course, the fish has to be fresh if you're making fish sushi. Okay. So I'm just going to cube this. Uh, yeah, I do watch a few cooking videos, but I don't really like follow uh, all of them. Once in a while I do. I like um, one cookbook, Nami. Uh, she's extremely sweet. 
Um, I also like those that have uh, really good uh, cinematography skills like uh, peaceful cooking. So that's really nice. And then all those classics I used to watch back then, you know, Laura Vitale, um who else? Oh, Cooking with Doc. <laughs> yeah. But on YouTube, usually I spend a lot of time on, um, you know, sketch, um, political jokes. Trevor Noah is great. <laughs> um, yeah. And then what else? Rochelle, hi. The box behind me, which box is that? This one here? That's a toaster. <laughs> so, maybe you can show this here. Yeah? So, as you can see, there's still a lot of water here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard the water. Okay? I'm going to just pour it out. Or you can also use a kitchen towel and just dip this in. Now this is the same kitchen towel that I used to soak the water from the tofu earlier. If you're disturbed by the view, you don't find it hygienic, then by all means just discard it your way. <laughs> it's really funny, every time I cook, people tell me, no, you're not supposed to do that, no, you're not supposed to do this, no, you're supposed to wash your fingers, man. <laughs> Well, anyway, <laughs> back to cooking. So I'm just going to stir fry this until it's brown. You have to make it brown or else it will be just white and it's not going to be really nice. And it's not going to be, uh, you won't have this body as you bite onto it, you know, this um, texture. So, oh, we have from Dubai. Hi. Uh, chili garam. Oh. Lucky boyfriend. So, and then I'm just going to cut a bit of uh, shallots. So, one shallot. And all you need to do is just slice it. Whoops. Something hit onto my skin and that's painful. Um. Yep, of course, Malaysian satay sauce. You have to look for the best satay sauce recipe. It's on yonyacooking.com. It's really so fantastic. I've had so many people trying it and they said it's great. And you can also see photos of others who have tried it. Okay, so... Sorry? Other questions? How to cook tofu? Um, can I press... Yes, yes you can. But as you see, when I started, I did not do anything to the tofu and I left, left it for a few minutes. So that's pretty slow. Um, but I have to discard the water here because it was just too much water so if you can leave the tofu for a while 15 20 minutes you know have a weight on top of it then you have the water discarded uh, even more so that would actually simplify the cooking process um, and then I think someone said something of do I cook at high heat yeah, oh no this is at medium heat but you can cook at high heat if you are using a non-stick pan like what I'm doing right now I do not really condone using non-stick pan, but I do sometimes, especially when I want things fast and I don't want to use too much oil. So yeah, guilty, <laughs> like here today. So let's take a look at the pan again. So if you can see, it's slightly brown here, here, yeah? And that's what you want. So this is already medium heat. And you just need to keep stir frying like that. So this is still not ready, as you can see, it's getting pretty dry up. Uh, Melbourne! It must be really cold right now. What's the temperature? In Germany, it's slightly cold, but it's supposedly summer. Well, it's German weather. <laughs> But sometimes we do have really, really hot days. So just keep stir frying. And then let's cut the shallots. Cut them into slices, yeah. Um, yeah, today we have the cameraman behind the camera or behind the phone. That's why, you know, the last time I was doing it by myself. So 
there was uh, there were not any one helping me there wasn't anyone helping out so yeah do you like the dynamics of the camera today what else Hong Kong uh, Kuei Kochi you have to check out the recipe on Kuei Kochi guys so if you want to check out any recipes to know if I have them or not, it's nyonyacooking.com and if I don't have them, you can always request for it. So if you look at the website, just scroll down and you'll find uh, a search button or a search bar and then you can just search for the recipe. So I do have recipes like Kuei Kochi there. And of course, please subscribe to our newsletter every time we do a new recipe you'll get notified immediately so for example this recipe i'm going to upload it also today and then immediately you get notified once we have it on the website then you can recreate it yourself as well right so just a bit more uh jaren hi i might have missed a few questions earlier um let's see what else do we have here um, someone asked if I speak German. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Eating potatoes with curry instant noodle. Dude, why are you cooking instant noodle with curry? <laughs> well, I do that sometimes, but you however, always have to pimp your uh, instant noodle. Just don't eat it, you know, plain. It's sad. Okay. So I have the uh, I have scallions here and I have um, shallots here already sliced. So it looks like okay. And now back to the pan. Let's take a look again. So you see, it's brown, and you see small little tofu jumping up. <laughs> okay, and I think it's good right now. So it's not all brown, but you have quite a bit of brown tofu on all sides. Okay. And what we are going to do next is to create a hole in the middle, a black hole. And let's add some sesame oil. Okay. I love sesame oil because it's so aromatic. And let's add some shallots. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> and immediately at this point, you can smell it. Hi, all the way to Thailand. Hi. <laughs> it's so fun having live video and I just uh, love doing this. So I'm just going to lightly stir fry this or saute the um, shallots until it's slightly softer, you know. And then later on, we're just going to mix it with the tofu. So we have uh, carrots and also we have um, capsicum here and then as for scallions now there are two parts right the bottom layer is uh, or the bottom part is slightly harder and then the top is soft so i like to use the bottom in the dish itself whereas the top layer i'm going to use it to um as they call what do you call it to garnish yeah <laughs> my words sometimes so as you can see, this is really very spontaneous compared to what we have on the video. Maybe you don't get to see much of uh, me. Do I, am, I, am I the same on video and also on live? I think I'm the same. <laughs> Maybe just not so playful. Anyway. <laughs> Whoops. Now that the scallions are slightly brown, let's take a look at it again. We're doing this uh, camera back and forth. Yes, Slido, if you could translate it, that would be fantastic. We do have a German website, by the way. Hi, Madeline. Sydney. Makan time. I am working, cooking. <laughs> Yeah, we do have a recipe on, uh, sorry, we do have a website uh, in German and it's called nyonyakooking.de, uh, de Deutsch, German. So you can have a look at that as well and share it with your German friends if you have any or your German partners, you know, German family members or anyone else who speak German. 
<laughs> so good scallion is almost done just gonna cut it smaller okay <laughs> okay now you can smell the sesame oil that's fantastic and then we are going to add um, our vegetables in all right so just add them in and i like to add scallions somewhat towards the end and just stir fry it or saute this okay now this is the fun part the next one is to add right my favorite spices first of all turmeric i love turmeric because it brings this golden color it's fantastic so add a bit of turmeric and then we're going to add cumin now with cumin i never really liked it at the beginning but then i started you know uh growing in love with it uh, in a lot of Chinese restaurants, they use cumin for barbecue. Uh, we use it also in uh, dumpling, rice dumpling, nyonya rice dumpling. So I like it, but not too much. Just a hint. And my, I think this is my favorite spice, uh, like my utmost favorite spice. All these are my top three uh, favorite spices. Uh, chili powder, because I like everything to be a bit spicy. So if you like everything a little bit spicy, Raise your hands, tell me. <laughs> I love spicy dishes. So yep, give it a quick stir fry. And right now, let's add a little bit of water. Not too much. Oh yeah. And you need a bit of water to cook the vegetables to make it softer okay so right now you can reduce the heat to low heat then let it continue cooking i'm just going to add a bit more water as you can see it's really a tiny bit and at the end of this video you wouldn't want or at the end of this dish you wouldn't want the dish to have a lot of gravy it's supposed to be almost dry So let it continue cooking at low heat. So uh, durian food. Yes, we can buy durian in uh, Asian grocer, but it's expensive. Uh, what else? Chi chong fan. Oh yeah, chi chong fan. Request for it. Why are you smiling there? Yeah, come over for buy, Nina. <laughs> Und das ist auch vegan. Uh, ich denke, dein Mann isst kein Fleisch, oder? Dann passt das ganz genau. Also sehr, sehr gut. Einfach, schnell. So, Nina is actually also another YouTuber. And uh, I was telling her that uh, her husband doesn't eat meat, if I can recall correctly. So this recipe is really great. And it's good for picnics, you know. So bring it to your friends. Like. Now this is not exactly Mal Malaysian, but I added all these flavors very close to satay actually. Or the marinade that we use for satay. I'm just gonna add a bit more water. It's a bit too dry for my liking. And then at the end, we'll just cook it until it's dry. Mom, 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 mom. Uh, TV shows, well, not really. <laughs> um, I think the last TV show that I watched, that I really followed. Let me see, what TV shows do we watch? I think we, we watched a little bit more of movies. Yesterday we were watching um, The Imitation Game. Yeah, yeah, that was really uh, an amazing movie. You have to watch that and I'm totally shocked with what actually happened in the movie. 
um, but yeah and I also like to watch uh, a lot about food so um, what's this Netflix documentary on food what do you call it chef's mind yeah. chef's table yeah I think chef's yeah, yeah yeah chef's table I like that okay and of course uh, my secret guilty pleasure uh, TVB series Cantonese series <laughs> Hong Kong series I watch them almost every day when I'm cooking so oh by the way I just added some ketchup mayonnaise so ketchup mayonnaise is sweet soya sauce and it's like uh, a little bit like honey it has a texture of honey okay and you can just add this to give it a bit of sweetness and I really think that it adds this kind of you know flavor the Malay flavor that I really love so you have a bit of spice you know and then a bit of sweetness uh, and of course you need to balance the taste therefore a bit of saltiness is really needed here so salt using a bit of sea salt yum 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 what else yeah, Xia Long Bao, I'm trying to nail it. It's really tough because uh, you have to fold and then you have to make sure that the soup is right. Uh, every step is really uh, calling for perfection. So when I perfect it, I'm going to show you. But I'm very, very fussy about Xia Long Bao because I've never eaten a good Xia Long Bao except at Tin Tai Fung. To me, that's the best Xia Long Bao. I've tried Xia Long Bao in different places uh, of the world, but Tin Tai Fung still is my best. Unless you have a different recommendation for Xia Long Pao, please um, yeah, write them down. Maybe we all can go and visit it and try it out to see if it's really true. So this is almost done. Um, yes, you can find ketchup manis at most Asian grocers. It's the basic uh, sauce. It's from Indonesia, so you can uh, definitely find them. And these are uh, scallions. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to add this in. Mmm, smells so good. Can we have the camera over here again? You can have more greens if you want, you know. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> okay. There. There you go. It's actually done. So I'm just going to switch the stove off right now and then let's put this oh yeah a little bit of black pepper would be nice too just to add a bit of peppery taste forgotten to add that <laughs> so I'm just adding it right at the end so cooking can be actually so simple you just don't need to follow rules please I think it's really up to your own creativity there you go. The dish is done. Tapioca flour, you can always uh, use uh, corn flour. It's the same, or it gives the same kind of uh, effect. Um, could you make a blend of Asian and Western cuisine such as laksa paste so you mean using uh ah wait laksa pasta oh yeah yeah sure sure so fusion yeah that sounds very interesting maybe we can work on that too uh yes if you can smell it well slightly peppery turmeric i cannot really smell the cumin maybe a very uh, light hint of cumin very light uh but what I'm going to use this with is uh, you could eat it with rice, of course, noodles, you know, just boil some noodles, instant noodles, for example, and then just load a lot of this uh, dish on top of the noodles. That would be great. But if you want to be healthy and, you know, um, you want to avoid carbo, um, then you can always use salad. So here I'm using romaine salad. Um, previously, I used iceberg salad that worked perfectly well as well. Uh, do as you like, right? Now, if I could get a bit of help here, um, let's just peel the salad out. 
So I try to peel it out like this as a whole, okay? But I'm just going to peel a few, just to show you how it's like. Um, can I get a bit of water? <laughs> now it's very tricky because what's behind the camera is very, very small. So the cameraman has to <laughs> go through this. Yeah. Now the sink is just behind the laptop. Okay, thank you. <laughs> he has to find his way behind the camera. So what I'm doing here is just to wash the vegetables. I didn't do it in advance because I just want to show you it's just so simple, simple to prepare. I didn't want to show you everything here and then you say, oh yeah, of course it's simple to prepare because you have everything prepared beforehand. Well, that's not the case. So just wash the vegetables. I've washed the vegetables earlier, but uh, as a whole bunch, just like that, just by rinsing it. But over here, I'm just washing the um, individual leaves. So, here you go. You have the whole leaf. Now, let's quickly look at the comment. Uh, let's see, Portuguese tart. Mm, like egg tart would be fantastic, right? I love that. You could just request that. Uh, purple skin, yeah, using veggies is great. My cocky attitude. <laughs> so I don't, <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> so, I think that's the beauty of life. Sometimes you get to see a different perspective of a person because it's just more, much more spontaneous. No, all I need to do now is just to spoon this onto the leaf. So let's have the camera over again. Okay. Okay. Ooh, now this is really, really hot. Okay. Now, just to tell you, you're going to listen some sound because uh, we cannot edit this video because it's live. So you might find it disturbing to some of you. If you find it disturbing, just lower the volume. Mm. I love it. It's fantastic. It's so flavorful. You do not really taste the sesame oil already because there's all this spiciness. Oh, now I'm feeling the heat. It's spicy, slightly spicy. So it's really up to you on how much heat you want, right? But I like it this way. Oh, this is fantastic. Let's have another mouthful. Mmm. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't close the wrap. You can of course fold this, but because uh, the leaf was slightly smaller, so I only had to just, you know, bring it up like this. And you can fold it, of course. Like this is a bigger leaf. Let me just wipe off all the excess water. It would be better if I have a tap here and then I can wash and clean directly. So they just make do with my small little kitchen. Okay, so like for this, you can always scoop it directly right in the middle. Okay, and then you can fold it. Romaine salad is slightly harder than uh, iceberg salad, so that's why it's difficult. But yeah, you get it. Ta Cheers! Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I love it. I love it.
Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm so glad that you enjoyed watching this video because it's really so simple. This recipe is slightly freestyle, it's slightly creative. Um, I wanted to make something light, easy, uh, fast to prepare because um, especially for one person, for me, I wanted it to be fast. That's very important. And I use all my top three spices that I would love in food. Uh, it's also all the spices that you be use in Malaysian cooking. Um, so try this recipe. I am so happy that you joined me on this live session. How long did this gone? Let's see. Oh, 40 minutes. Nah. If I were to send this some through post, Laju, I think you'd be all spoiled. <laughs> and lost. Huh? And lost. And lost. <laughs> No, that's, that's an inside joke <laughs> Because the last time we sent something to a friend and got lost uh, in the post um, Oh yeah, you have to make supper but try this recipe really because it's just so simple And then it's easy to prepare, you can always prepare this in advance Have it with rice or noodles You can make, uh, you can add a bit of gravy to it, have a bit more water and then you know more gravy to it That would also do the trick um, This is a vegan recipe so if you want it to be uh, slightly um, you know more flavorful you can add oyster sauce but i don't see the reason to do so because it's just perfect fantastic great uh yeah haven't had kolo me for a long time yeah so if you do have any other questions i'm going to concentrate on the laptop right now and then maybe we could uh, go through some of your questions oh thank you rosaline have a wonderful day as well Let's see. Okay, you want to show again? Ta -da. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the messy part. <laughs> that's the part that we do not show on video. <laughs> You know when it's when it's uh, video uh, producing, we get to cut a lot of things to say. Oh, don't show the messy part. Oh, don't show me saying this. I oh, don't show my mistakes. But when it's live, you cannot really control. <laughs> so yeah, um, what I wanted to say. Oh yeah, uh, I will be an uh, I will be uploading a behind the scenes video on uh, Patreon. So you can head on to Patreon if you want to watch that. But it's only for our supporters on Patreon. Uh, it's a lot about the mistakes that we do and how we produce the video from uh, starting to the end of recording and what we do after recording of course eating but besides that we, there are also other things that we will need to do so you can head on to patreon.com slash nyonya cooking p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com okay so yes the tablecloth is fantastic <laughs> uh, let me see uh, what food you miss the most that you could not make? Hmm. My grandma's fish cake. I've been trying to do fish cake for the longest time and I've tried different fishes here in Germany. It's just so tough. Uh, my grandma, she does fish cake just with fish, water and salt. That's all. Um, and I've tried many recipes, uh, adding flour, but it doesn't give that taste that she makes. It's uh, the bouncy, it's slightly savory, salty. Uh, I, I love everything about it. I just could eat that and rice, and that's all. That's my my. That's the one thing that I want to create, but I cannot create. Yeah. So. Um. Let's see. So if you want any recipe request like Kolomi, just now I saw someone requesting, you can request it on nyonyacooking.com and then we'll see how the request is and maybe have a video on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, there are a few Asian food festivals. Uh, one of it would be happening in a city close to Frankfurt and it's a Thai food festival. So I'll be very excited. I'm actually very excited to visit it. Um, and then maybe we could uh, just show you through my Instagram stories and to show you how it's like to be Asian living in Germany, okay? So, thank you so much for this whole live chat. 
any further questions, post them to me uh, on this video below the comments. I'll answer them. I'm so sorry that sometimes I might miss a few questions here and there, especially during, during cooking. Uh, and then we will speak more on uh, Insta stories because I love going on Insta stories. Instagram is like my big thing and also on Facebook. I can't wait to talk to you all of the, uh, all of you guys there on all these different platforms. Tell me which platform do you prefer, Facebook, Instagram or YouTube? Uh, because I always confuse myself and I don't know where to go if I want to reach out to you guys um, All right, so till then uh, remember to subscribe to Nyonya Cooking if you have not as usual Give me a thumbs up on this video uh, The full recipe will be on nyonyacooking.com So search, uh, search for that uh, and also in the comment section. Uh, no the description box below uh, Till then I wish you happy cooking and bye